This is the TRT Community Podcast, where we discuss all things testosterone. What's going on, guys? I'm Brandon, founder of the TRT Community, gracious co-host of all things testosterone. To my right is Ian. Hello, Brandon. Hello, Ian. Um, We just recorded our very first YouTube podcast video of 2020, and I think the video didn't work. So maybe this is our first video podcast of 2020, Um, but we'll see. Maybe we go back and reshoot that one. I don't really know. Right. We'll see what happens. Um, In case it is the first one, this is the first one, I want to ask again, if I know what my levels are, or I don't know what my levels are, Mm -hmm. but I feel like I need testosterone replacement therapy, and I don't really know how how to go about finding a doctor, what would you recommend I do? What I would do, let's call our friend Ken at Matrix Hormones. Okay. Is uh, Ken a nice guy? Yeah, super nice, super knowledgeable, knows his stuff. Okay, cool. Extremely responsive. Customer service is great. Very the, cust- very good customer service. All the guys that are that are giving him a call or checking them out online are, are saying really great things. So matrixhormones.com. If you mention Ian or myself uh, or Kevin, who's not here today, it, the we po- it, the podcast. hardly knew Kevin. But <laughs> <laughs> mention the podcast and... Uh, You'll get $150 off, which is basically they'll give you free initiation, consult, yada, yada. Thanks, Matrix Hormones. <laughs> Ma- you know, I said that last podcast, and I said Matrix Hormones. Yeah, it's you did. Matrix Hormones, and I can't get that extra syllable out. Yeah, that is kind of a weird combination of words to say. So We judge them based on their treatment methods and their customer service, not, not on their yeah. n- business naming. Right. Um, so, Kevin is not here oh well let me okay first um so we did a video facebook live i think in a podcast episode about these at home um blood test kits and kevin stuck his finger three or four different times and tried to fill a vial of blood so let's get checked right? yeah let's yeah. get let's get checked.com mm-hmm. and it didn't go incredibly well it turns out kevin has aids <laughs> turns out we weren't <laughs> We weren't able to collect enough blood for them to do any any kind of testing. Just so kidding. AIDS, is not, <laughs> AIDS, is not, AIDS, AIDS is not something that we joke about. Uh, so I basically told them, you know, I really appreciate the idea behind what you're doing, and I think it could be a really great thing for some people. I myself will never be able to stab my own finger. Never. It's just not going to happen. But I think it would be really convenient for some people. And, but it, my point is I told them, you know, thanks, but no thanks. I don't, I don't think, I, you know, I'm going to have any, it didn't work for us. So we'll, we'll pass on any kind of affiliation or relationship in the yeah. future. That's I, yeah. yeah. Uh, and they came back and they were like, listen, we, you know, we'll send you additional test kits. We want you to have a good experience. Um, their customer service was fantastic. And they were like, we have a, an, we can have a nurse walk you through it and like, she'll call you and yada, yada, yada. And so I was like, well, all that sounds great, but that still doesn't, you know, get around the fact that it was, it was hard. So I started doing some research and there are some people online that had successful, um, blood draws with them. They did the exact same thing we did, but it worked. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give them a fair shot. So, um, I was able to negotiate them down to 40% off. So if you do have, if you want to try them, let's get check.com and then use the code TRT40 and let me know if you have a similar experience. There were there was somebody on Facebook Live that was saying that they, they had done it successfully. I don't remember his name, but he had done it successfully. So we've seen people do it, and it does work, and it, it is convenient for some. So give it a shot. Um, Kevin is not here today. He called in sick. But um, he asked me about a month ago if we could do a podcast episode about testosterone boosters specifically Nugenics, who is the, uh, the, that's the company that Frank Thomas, I guess, represents, or he represents them. I don't think he, I don't know if he owns them. You're talking about the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas? The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. right. Yeah, Nugenics. So I I did reach out to them. I didn't expect to hear back because any time I reach out to anyone that is in that line, that industry, uh, and say essentially we've got the real thing we'd like to try the not real thing and then compare the two they don't respond um, it was what was the other oh it was um, 
it was like an at home hematocrit test or something. They ghosted me too. They were all about a relationship and letting me, you know, do an episode about it. Oh uh, yes, but we once, talked. Yeah, we yeah, talked about this, yeah. Once I told them what we were going to do, they're like, "Nah." So <laughs> I didn't expect to hear back from uh, Nugenix, but I just wanted to say well, what I did was when Kevin mentioned that, I thought, "Yeah, that'd be a great idea." So I posted in the Facebook group, in our Facebook group, and I just said, "Hey, I personally think that T boosters are garbage." However, I want to do an objective episode about them. What would be the best that you recommend I get? And the responses, I'll actually pull them up on my phone. This, of course, is at facebook.com slash group slash TRT community. That is exactly where it is. So I said, I'd like to do some objective research on testosterone boosters. Which do we think have the best shot at being effective? I personally think they're garbage, but this is for science. And most people just kind of ignored my disclaimer. And they said, over the counter, um, they're pretty much junk and a waste of money. My response was, I said it was for science. A um, couple of people said things that aren't T-boosters at all, but are just testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Ever wonder why? <laughs> ever wonder why the supplement companies do not provide their own objective data or scientific research? Yes, Bert, I I understand, but like I wanted to I wanted to provide a little bit of information for guys that that aren't in the group, you know, that that are curious if they work. I wanted to be able to objectively say this is we tried it and this was our experience. Got a couple of research studies posted up. Um. So long story short, the results were overwhelming. I mean, there are a lot of comments on this post. Overwhelming that, you know, the TRT community is not helpful. I'm just kidding. That, <laughs> that the, you know, the guys that are in the know, that are knowledgeable, um, think that they're junk as well. And they've thrown away that money. They've Yeah, they've, they've done it. And I never did. Taken um, a month's worth of pills that right. don't do anything. They're yeah. super expensive. They're, they can be harmful. Uh I did a little bit of research before this episode, and what I found is that they can decrease your testosterone. Hmm. They can fool you into thinking that your T levels are increasing because they, because of the benefits they give. You know, they're they're all like natural products, ash, ashwagandha, and that kind of thing. And some of those can make you feel better, yeah. but they're not actually changing your T levels. And then. One doctor said that they, they can actually hurt your testosterone numbers over the long run. I think there's a few things that I, I have had experience with um, that I've taken that help. I guess it, I would say that it helps with things that you would expect to normally help boost your testosterone. Like if it's going to help you sleep better, more restorative and restful sleep, yeah, that's naturally going to boost your, your testosterone. But overall... I, it, it's a minimal effect from my experience yeah. on any of that stuff. Yeah. Like I take a ZMA and, and, and Rachel Lyle had even recommended that. Um, and I think it helps in terms of if you're in a workout plan and you know, you have muscle soreness and things like that it helps with the recovery and it does help with the night's sleep, a, a nice decent night's sleep. And I'm, and that of course is going to help with testosterone levels, but there's no magic pills out there that, yeah, they're gonna do the re what the real thing does, and and I imagine that they're able to legally disclaim that they can boost your testosterone because maybe they can boost it a few points, but um. in order to, um, I mean, in order to make a difference, you know, if you're at you know two hundred total and and deficient free T, in order to make a difference, you need to no. triple that number, you know, and you're not going to do it with a booster. Most of the ones I've seen, there's there's one at Costco that they sell. It's I forget what the name of it is, but what their claim is is that it maintains. Look, if you have optimal testosterone levels, it'll help maintain that optimal testosterone level. But <laughs> if you're what, <laughs> that's yeah. It, it, so if you're yeah, if you're deficient, that's not going to help you. It's right. not going to do anything. <laughs> but what kind of sales tactic is that? I mean, that that's like, um, I don't know, me saying it's that... Sa it's a safe play. It's a force field. That's what it is, you know? Yeah, yeah. But They're not, it, they can't make claims that it... Cre you know. But you don't even know if I yeah. would have become deficient without it. Right. Like, come on. <laughs> anyway. So, let me see what else. 
oh, I wanted to talk about weight loss. That's something that comes up in the group quite a bit. And, you know, people will ask, does TRT help you lose weight? And a lot of people will say no. But I will tell you that, you know, there are various things that happen. And, and having optimized testosterone, at the very least, will make your entire body function more efficiently. And that includes metabolism. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I'll go on record saying that it does help with weight loss. And I've talked about my story before where, you know, I, I had the same diet and off T I was gaining weight and on T I was maintaining weight. So it definitely, um, you know, anecdotally at least, it'll, it'll, it'll do something to help. Yeah, it, my, I guess my, my thought would be um, it shouldn't be the reason you get on yeah trt but it's a nice it's a nice added benefit because it 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 happened for me when i was on uh 200 milligrams a week last year um i I lost almost 20 pounds while uh, during the course of the three or four months so it's nice but it's not the reason i got it and it shouldn't be the reason and the guys that ask those kind of questions again where we talked about last episode it's kind of like okay what are you what are you angling for here right yeah right yeah um they also they ask about it for muscle building and well the reason that i brought both of these up fat loss mostly is well weight loss is i would call it fat loss and not weight loss but you may actually gain weight but you're going to lean out um but they you know i read an article that said that men should lose the excess fat first and mm-hmm. then start trt but you know some guys most guys that are deficient truly deficient they don't have the mental or physical ability to get off the couch with deficient testosterone I would to lose wholeheartedly it. agree yes yeah so i i disagreed with that and you know i think that you know an obese person could be prescribed trt and then that would uh help facilitate yeah them to have the energy and the mental capacity to actually move you know right and in, in, in if regarding muscle building i mean it's it's testosterone is anabolic in nature and is it not i mean yeah that's the nature of it but again if you're entering do I need testosterone or not with, with that as the primary goal? It shouldn't be your primary yeah. goal. There should be... This is not what this group is about. Yeah. It's not <clears> what we... There should be five to ten things on your list that are more important than building muscle or the way you look naked. Exactly. Um, don't some be of a zombie and think, you know, like, <laughs> exactly. don't be a zombie dad or whatever. Yeah. So some of the things that guys are saying in the group, uh, one guy posted up and said, did it help with weight loss? And there are a lot of replies here. Uh, and I know this is anecdotal and... I'm okay with it. You still have to get off your ass and in the gym. True. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you? Because walk for go for a bike ride or a walk. Like not necessarily the gym. You mean just you have to you have to move your body. My to argument. See those results. My argument though is that in my own experience, you can maintain a completely sedentary lifestyle. Not that I'm condoning that or saying that that's what I do now, but I have for a long period of time been sedentary on tea. T- stopped the tea for personal reasons eating the same had the same diet gained weight off the tea started the tea again same diet mm-hmm. and then lost that weight and i wasn't doing anything additional so <laughs> that was a weird a weird move so i don't know i mean yeah to see the most the most value out of it obviously you need to be in some sort of workout routine but these guys are saying yeah it helped me lose 30 pounds and she's around my midsection um everyone's different I started TRT in January, workout six days a week, good diet and plan. It took eight months to drop the weight without any cardio. Uh, 85 pounds so far since January, and this was posted six months ago. or Yeah, six months ago. Um, This guy says if you can't lose weight on your own, you're not going to lose weight on TRT. I don't don't agree with that at all. He says calorie deficit is how you lose weight, which obviously that's science. But what what I'm saying is that I believe that the testosterone ups your what is it the basal metabolic rate it uh, it ups your bill your body is going to burn more because it's function functioning efficiently right than if it were low blood flow is better mm-hmm. therefore it gets to those muscles to restore kind of the the breakdown of this guy says it'll help you mo- it'll help motivate you to work out that kind of thing yes um let's see what else i see a lot of weight gain results from trt is there anyone who has lost weight yeah, this guy's lost 15 pounds in three months. Um, I was talking to my wife about this, but 
is a, if, if, it, if it is a, a steroid that, that helps with inflammation response in your body. So that could certainly help you get up and get moving. Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot easier and be motivated. So if you, if you don't feel pain in those areas, they always have pain in, mm. but, mm. but again, uh, you said it, you said it really well. It, it, there should be five, 10 other things on your list <laughs> that yeah. you're looking to get from, to improve on before your weight loss or muscle gain. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, those are just, those are, those are the added benefits. Yeah. You know, um, if you, if you're a normal guy and you're, I don't know what's a normal guy weigh 180, 220, somewhere in between there, probably Yeah. six foot tall, um, thin, not much muscle and you are deficient and you've been, you were active in your earlier years and maybe, maybe you're, you look best at 180 and now you're 215 and you were more active before, but you've got two or three kids and you've got a stressful job and you're deficient and you can't get off the couch and you start taking testosterone, you're going to get the energy and the, the mental boost to do those things, to get off the couch and just have your normal life back. Yeah. And even just having your normal life back, you know, playing with your kids, going for hikes at the local nature preserve, those kinds of things, you're going to, you're going to drop the fat. Um, doing those and it's not going to seem like you've changed anything but you know you're doing the things that you did yeah when bring, you were bring back your, your focus and get rid of that that brain fog and allow you to be present with your with your kid or whatever your life situation finds you in. no more zombie dad no more zombie dad that's enough of a testosterone commercial <laughs> thank you for listening to the trt community podcast You can find us online at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash TRT community.